I am here at the Botanical Conservatory at the Raise a Glass exhibit. Now this is celebrating 40 years that they have been here providing so many really cool exhibitions for us in the community. And joining me now is Nate Cardelli, who is the general manager. Hello. Hey, thank you How's for being here. Yes. So good. <laughs> I know, this is so good. So let's talk about it. First off, congratulations, 40 years. 40 years. That's incredible. And so what made you all decide to go with this exhibit for this time? So, you know, the thing, raise a glass to celebrate, something super incredible happened. We found these wonderful glass pieces in our storage mm -hmm. and they were just really begging to be displayed somewhere. Mm -hmm. So we were able to finally get them up suspended from the ceiling, we're raising a glass, mm -hmm. and these pieces were from uh, an exhibit we did here about 20 years ago. So wow. it's great to be able to reuse some of that investment mm -hmm. and then capitalize on it with some local glass blowing here as well. Yes, and that's what we're looking at, right? So these pieces have been blown out, yep. um, and that's what makes it so unique in each piece being so different, right? Absolutely. So. Mm -hmm. We have these large pieces, they're wonderful. And then on the ground plane, we actually have these beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm. And those flowers are blown by local glass blower, Aaron Park. Wow. So he's uh, really complimented the work that James Michael did uh, back when. Right, and I know you all are really celebrating this exhibit by offering just one dollar yeah. for entry. Yeah. So when can people experience this? So yes, the one dollar entry is on Thursday nights from 5 p.m. until 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. until the show ends on November 17th, so plenty of time to see it yet. Yeah. And then regular admission during the week, so 10 to 5, Tuesday through Saturday, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, noon to 4 on Sundays, and that's wow. $7 for adults and $5 for youth. Oh my goodness, okay. So let's keep walking and yeah. looking because I just feel like it's the perfect way just to stroll around with your family, go on a date night, or just really enjoy the arts. You know, you have the flowers going. Yep. And so this is the vibe. How long is this exhibit taking place? So we're here in this exhibit until November 17th. Mm -hmm. And what we've got going with this exhibit, during the fall and summer, we always do something very adult oriented. Yeah. And that's what this exhibit is mm -hmm. for us. Uh, it's something that you can bring your uh, family out. It's also something you can enjoy for your wedding photos oh, or yeah. things like that. So this is actually the backdrop to uh, more than 90 ceremonies this summer, fall season. Right. So Nate, let's talk about this big 40 year celebration. Yeah. What has the Botanical Conservatory looked like over the past four decades? So we've had an incredible 40 years here at the conservatory. Started in 1983 with the work of Helene Fullinger and really, really drove home the dream that her mother had to have a conservatory here in downtown Fort Wayne. For people who may not be able to have the experience is that she had traveling. Mm -hmm. So she and her mother traveled the country and were able to enjoy uh, really what uh, botanical conservatories had to offer nationwide. Mm -hmm. So we got that here in downtown Fort Wayne and really an excellent cultural attraction for us here. Uh, lots of people over the last uh, 40 years, over 3 million visitors wow. as of this year. So yes. really something that people have come to enjoy mm -hmm. and celebrate at the conservatory. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. I love that. And I know that the year is winding down, but yeah. it's not over. So you all have really cool upcoming exhibits like yes. the Gnome yes. for the holidays. So tell me about that. So yes, we have Gnome for the holidays coming up next. That is our Christmas holiday show this mm -hmm. year super exciting and it'll be, it'll be a little bit more kitschy a little bit more tongue-in-cheek yeah and then this october we still have our pumpkin path happening so that'll be coming up here soon enjoy the harvest season yes. and then of course we have several or many special events to wrap up the year yeah the harvest we, we, we want those cool days exactly it's a little toasty today <laughs> <laughs> on this beautiful summer day it's a little toasty but but it's exciting to experience this place in every single season absolutely yes okay well the fun is not over. I am going to speak with the actual artist of this glass exhibit next. Let's talk to him. I am now joined by James Michael Kell, who is a gaffer, which is a glass blower, right? That's correct. Learn something new today. Yeah. Well, what an honor to be able to speak with you. Well, thank you. Yes, as you are the artist behind this beautiful display of glass in this exhibit. <laughs> yes, well, we did this uh, about 20 years ago, and uh, most of this glass was originally in the form of fountains. Mm. 
and most in this room right here and I was just uh, delighted to see it come back and, and, and get a kind of a reprise but so everything you're seeing here is pretty much upside down from where it was when we originally installed it <laughs> really? all these were turned over oh. and they were part of, of large fountains yes oh that's pretty awesome okay so let's talk about this technique because mm -hmm. glass blowing is an art and I feel yep. like it's <laughs> almost an abstract way to be able to create artwork because every piece is so different and unique. Mm -hmm. Well, it, this is the, the joy of, uh, of sculpting with glass uh, is that the glass works with you it, and it's kind of a, alive. Yeah. It has its own thing that it wants to do. Mm -hmm. And so really all you do is you use a little air, centrifugal force by spinning, gravity to stretch things out, mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah. And your hands. Yes. Okay, so tell me the inspiration mm -hmm. and the vision behind these um, choices of shape and also the color scheme. Sure. Well, uh, the shapes uh, are, you know, form follows function. And mm -hmm. uh, so these were meant to be pieces in a fountain where there was a, a spray of water that would come up out of the center mm -hmm. and also where it would catch water that was coming from another piece. Okay, yeah. So we needed something that, that would lend itself to that kind mm -hmm. of, of movement in the water. And personally, I like fluted pieces. I like pieces that have a flute on the edge mm -hmm. because then you can look from one angle and you can see something that's going on on the inside yeah. and on the outside yeah. at the same time. And glass is meant to be viewed from both sides. Right. Unlike an oil pane, you're only you're, most people don't really hang it up and turn it backwards and say, no. let's look at the back <laughs> of this. But with a piece of glass, you do that all the time. Okay. Let's look at the inside of it. Let's mm -hmm. look at the outside of it. Well, the inside's one, outside's the other side. Wow, I love it. I mean, it's just so fascinating. And so as you know, people will be coming out to this exhibit mm -hmm. and experiencing your artwork. What do you want for them to walk away with? Well, I hope they have an appreciation for the fluidity of glass and, and just how it can be an expression. And I hope that they go find their local glass blower, go to their studio, say hello, watch what they do, yeah. get involved. And you know, I didn't know how to glass to blow glass until I, I was almost 30 years old before yeah. I, I had an opportunity. Mm -hmm. If you go in and you don't know, ask questions. Yeah. You can do this. Mm -hmm. You may not want to, but you realize <laughs> the environment is kind of hot and messy and, you know, sweaty and all right. like that. But if you can get past that, mm -hmm. <laughs> you might find out that you love making it. Yeah, and that's so true. And I actually did have an experience visiting Glass Park here locally. Mm -hmm. yep. And the gentleman taught me how to um, do the process where we had put the, the glass the in frit? the hot fire okay. and was turning that and adding shards of color, right. putting it back. And I made um, a marbleized ball that's a, nice. um, a desk weight. A paper weight. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so you're so right. You have to get out and do it. the same process happens when we make a piece like this. Yeah. This happens the same way. We pick up a clear glass and we put shards of what we call frit or yeah. color down. We roll in, pick it up, and then we can heat that, meld it in, put no more clear on it, yeah. put more colors on all that. And then your paperweight, if we were to blow that, you could expand Open it into it. a vessel. Okay. So cool, so cool. So, thank you yeah. so much for chatting well, with me. Well, thank you. I appreciate you. it. Appreciate <laughs> it. And we're, we're just happy to see it happening. And I would say, if you get an opportunity, come on out to the Botanical Conservatory. You know, it's been a great place to go for 40 plus years. Yeah. It still is now. Come yeah. on out and take a look. Absolutely. Well, you heard it from James Michael himself. Come on out to the Botanical Conservatory to experience this Raise a Glass exhibit. And guess what? Only $1 on Thursdays. This exhibit will run through November and we'll have their website listed below and I'll see you after the break.